My name is Judge Lanise Bryan, and I am presiding over this case. I didn't just check boxes on a paper. Did you rewind said, the video? You said ooh, you were going to send it to me. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Can we okay. go back to breakout, please, Judge? You might please. need to because Miss Williams right. get ready to get this probation revoked. Okay. Now, if we go back on no video because I've been out. doing this job for 15 years. And what I know without ever looking on a video is that out of my mouth, I said the terms and conditions of probation. And then at the end of that, I said, I will mail you a copy. But you need to go back and, and think, because first of all, she's coming in person. Because I'm sick of this right here. This whole look. It's Brianna Williams. The defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. Today is the day set for review, Ms. Stevenson. Janice Stevenson on behalf of Brianna Williams. Ms. Williams, ma'am, please unmute and tell the judge your full name. Brianna Yvette Williams. Thank you, ma'am. Today is the date set for review. And uh, I didn't request uh, Ms. Williams' um, update from probation. Her probation officer is off on leave. So I don't have an update from her for her, but just looking at the register of action, Ms. Williams was placed on probation by this court um, in March. So this is her first review. It was a 12 month delayed sentence. So she's not eligible for discharge yet. Um, I did order her to do uh, anger management, it doesn't say how many in the register. Um, it says mental health counseling, your analysis. Oh, I didn't sign a delayed sentence order. That's not, so apparently we didn't do an order back in March. And then I'm looking at the register and it says, in my absence, Judge Evans signed an order. That's probably why it doesn't say how many anger management classes. Your Honor, may I? You may. I remember that day. Um, I could not locate the original order. So when Judge Evans stood in, she signed another order. But then I found the one that you had signed on March the 10th, and I also forwarded that over to probation. Okay, tell them to disregard that last order because that if it's different from mine, I, I, disregard that, disregard it. Okay. So that's, yeah, we're going to rescind that order from Judge Evans. We're going to rescind that order. All right. Um, Okay, so Ms. Stevenson, what does Ms. Williams think she's done already? Um, she has been in touch with Ms. O'Driscoll and has been waiting to hear what her exact conditions of probation are. Now nah, that's okay. Now y'all know that ain't the truth. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to say this on behalf of Ms. Williams, Your Honor. She has, um, she already has all of Ms. O'Driscoll's contact information. Most of my clients, when they get to this point, they have, they don't have all that. And I, I do think she's kind of been, you know, in a place where she's waiting. If we could get a copy of the court's order email to, if it could be emailed to me and then I'll forward it to Ms. Williams. I gave her Eve's contact information today. She didn't know how many anger management classes she was supposed to take. So I encouraged her to go ahead and sign up for 12. You she mean did. she didn't remember? Because because don't say I didn't say it on the day of her sentencing. So oh, let's oh, see. Yes. She, didn't, she didn't remember. It was I, supposed to be sent over to me. That's Hold what it was supposed down. to be sent over. Ms. Williams. Ms. Williams, like I said, I said what I said and I'm saying it again. I didn't just check no boxes on a paper and say you will get the 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 uh you'll get this paper. I didn't just check boxes on a paper. Did you rewind said, the video? You said ooh, you were going to send it to me. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Can we okay. go back to breakout, please, Judge? You might please. need to because Miss Williams right. get ready to get this probation revoked. Okay, now, if we can go back on no video because I've been out. doing this job for 15 years, and what I know without ever looking on a video is that out of my mouth, I said the terms and conditions of probation. And then at the end of that, I said, I will mail you a copy, 
But you need to go back and, and think, because first of all, she's coming in person. Because I'm sick of this right here. This whole little attitude she has. We're going right this back. This whole thing right, right here. Judge. This whole attitude right here. Okay. If we could go back to breakout right now, please, Your Honor. Yeah, I would really she appreciate ready to go it. To jail. Go to breakout because she can ready okay. to go to jail. Let me close these rooms so you can talk about talk to her. And let me say this. It's nothing funny going on in my courtroom right now. And there's only one person in my courtroom right now, which is probably why you're here on this uh, assault and battery case that's in danger. Now, I don't know who you think I am or where you think you are, but let me be clear about something. My name is Judge Lanise Bryant, and I am presiding over this case. You're going to be respectful. You're not going to keep interrupting the court. You're not going to keep turning your head around and laughing. Because I know how to do my job. I do it very well. In fact, I do it extremely well. If we could go right away, Judge. I know, because you're scared. You like Judge. I am. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking, Miss Stevenson. I'm going to stop talking. And then I'm going to do this right here. Appreciate and I'll stop it, Judge. Bringing... So are we ready to go back on the record with Miss Williams? We are, and I have an update of information for the court. Okay, now. and I know you might you tell me some stuff she's going through, but they, you're not going to come on here and be disrespectful to me. Miss Stevenson, go ahead. Thank you very much, Your Honor. So, um, Ms. Williams, uh, this is our office's first interaction today with Ms. Williams, and I did have an opportunity to observe um, what was going on with Sister Counsel. Um, and because, you know, there, there are probably some resources available here at the court that sister counsel was not aware of. I think this case, having um, watched Ms. Williams um, in her prior hearings, having talked with her today, having watched the, the dramatic shift, Your Honor, in her demeanor from um, when she and I were in breakout till she came out before the court, she does have a mental health diagnosis. I don't know if a PSI was ever done. Um, and I know probably maybe because at sentencing, it looks like this one slipped under the radar because there was a substitute. Well, her attorney in. was Ms. Marable. And I right. Don't mm -hmm. so, at, so she had retained counsel. We had a substitute judge at the sentencing, I think. And so I, I really would like Ms. Williams to be able to, to, to talk with someone from the specialty court. I don't know that we would be able to do that today. Um, and if we can, that would be great. But I do think this would be a better fit if she's eligible. Um, I forgot how Mr. Yancey called it. I like the word. I did too. And I like, and I tried yeah. to say it yesterday, but I couldn't remember it. Right. Behavioral special or something like that. I don't know. Yes. But I think. If she's eligible, I think this is a better fit for the specialty court. Well, let's see if we can get them on. Okay. 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 Ok